Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about acute otitis media otoscopy findings. So there are four things that you will expect to find in otitis media. So they, these are the cone of light, you want to see whether it's in the correct anatomical position or not, the air fluid level, the bulging of the tympanic membrane, and also erythema. You won't see all of these signs at the same time um, in one patient. Sometimes a patient might not have erythema, you might not see redness of the tympanic membrane. Sometimes you might not see the bulging, you might see air fluid levels. Sometimes it be, it'll be bulging but it's not, it's not so prominent that it causes the cone of light to be in the wrong anatomical position. It's still in the correct anatomical position. So you have to um, take um, you have to evaluate based on a combination of all these signs and not just one of them. Right. So first we'll be talking about the cone of light. So this is the cone of light in that correct anatomical position. So the de um, depending on the right or left ear. So if you're looking at the patient's right ear, so the patient is standing like this and you're looking into the right ear, the cone of light will be at the 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock position. Whereas if you are looking at their left ear, the cone of light will be in the 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock position. So if, if you want to remember, uh, uh, is is uh, pointing anterior inferior anterior inferior to the person where the person is uh, facing that's the cone of light right next we'll be talking about the air fluid level so um, sometimes it, it's very obvious like uh, in this picture here you can see bubbles inside so you know there's some fluid inside and sometimes um, it's as obvious as this you see uh, purulent our air fluid level and sometimes it's clear serous air fluid level but most of the time you don't see it so clearly so you have to really look carefully at the eardrum to see if you can um, find any air fluid level so it, over here you can see one air fluid level over here as well you can see a few air fluid levels but they are not that obvious so you really have to look carefully and next we'll be talking about bulging. So this is a very obvious bulging. But most of the time, the bulging is not as obvious as this. It's not as prominent. Um, so, like for example, this one. Is this eardrum bulging or not? Maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, what can help you? You see the cone of light is still in the correct anatomical position. In this case, the cone of light is up here. So it's definitely not in the correct anatomical position. But in this case, you see, the, this is the anterior side of the person, so it's still pointing at the anterior inferior direction. It's still correct position for the cone of light. However, it's actually a bulging uh, eardrum. So what, what can help you is you, if the person is presenting with uh, ear pain or ear fullness only on one side, you compare with the other ear. So here's a comparison with another ear. So this is a normal one. This is a bulging one. You can see a bit of difference, right? You see this curvature looks a bit more bulgy um, this is a normal one so if you can't uh, if you're not very sure compare with the other ear yeah and then lastly you look for erythema so inflammation causes redness of the ear but oftentimes it's not there as well so uh, don't just base your um, your interpretation based on one uh, feature so take a combination of all this yeah and I think that's all I have for you hope it helps thank you